We've come to Lake Forest to one of the most impressive houses truly ever built in the Chicago area. This was built in 1915 uh, for really the coming together of two fortunes, the Shed fortune and the Schweppe tonic water fortune, Shed being the Marshall Fields executive. It's an enormous house. We're going to take a while to see it, but this is Huda Shadid, who is the agent listing the house for how much, Huda? 18 million. 18 million. List and tell price, us, 8 million. as we head toward the house through this entry court, tell us a little bit about it. In 1987, when the present owner purchased it, they revamped the whole house. They, you know. And that's a large job. To renovate a, a house job. of this size is enormous. And they hire the best of the people to take care of it. Uh, the house is even air conditioned at this point. There's 10 air conditioning units, uh, plumbing, heating, electric, it's all redone. Uh, the inside of the house was uh, kind of completely redone too because the property was vacant for many years. Although there were two take, uh, family that took care of the property, but nobody lived in the house. Uh, the house was heated but it was always vacant. This is and prior to 87? Prior when to 87, when it was purchased by the present owner. Can you imagine leaving a house with this kind of detail and this kind of size, empty, for 40-something years? But somebody took care of it. Uh, that's terrific. Yeah. It was kept up. They were kept you said up. it was heated the whole time, it so nothing heated, shrank, nothing, nothing expanded, shrank. everything was All in good shape. All the woodwork stayed the same. There was some, some panel needed to be repaired, but the present owner hired the right people. Uh, to take care of it, and uh, it was done in less than a year. Well, there are so many rooms in this house, we're not going to be able to see all of them. No. Right? It would but we be. start out here in this reception room, which feels almost like a little chapel with the paneled ceiling and all the carving. And this is really just to receive guests. This is just to receive the guests, and Frederick, uh, Frederick Perkins really did copy, since he was a commercial uh, architect, did copy Adler, and you see the rosette styles in the ceiling here, and all the limestone uh, walls, and uh, that's been here since 1915. That's terrific. And then we go, why don't we go into the living room, or what do you call that, this room? That's the family room. The family room, yeah. okay. Let's go into this enormous Which, family room, because here we can really see the detail that went into the yeah. house. The house was ahead of its time. Homes at this, at this, this period never had family rooms, this house. You know, had a room, which is now, I mean, we call the family room where the family gathered and enjoyed their daily life uh, living. Daily life among these details. I so, can't, I mean, the layer of, layers of detail are hard to enumerate, but we've got this sort of scrimshaw carving woodwork. back here and yep. the figurines. We've got a remarkable the ceiling, plaster ceiling. Plaster ceiling that was redone to perfection. To restore that ceiling, it took days and days, and it took there were a couple of special uh, work, workmen that really, that's all what they did. These are, this is when our when present sellers were fixing it up? Yeah. I think I remember a story, I hope it's right, uh, about when the house was originally built, the craftspeople were new from Europe and they were living in the basement working yes. on this, while working on this house. That's that what right? we heard too. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's what we heard. This room has so many details, it's hard to believe. The fireplaces were brought in from all over Europe. Oh, were they? All over. Oh, that's yeah. terrific. They and then I'm just noticing for the first time, the planks on the these floors are, planks. what are they, six inches? Kind of, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder, it's probably yeah. old growth. Old too, growth, probably. the house is solid. I mean, you walk in, there's no creepy floors. It's really impressive, it's really magnificent, and the one thing that we can tell standing right here is that it's sort of a Y shape, right? We have it a is. wing off this direction, mm -hmm. we'll go into this living mm -hmm. room. Back there was the receiving room we came into and a library. library. Yeah. And over here is dining, kitchen, so the it's a big Y area. shape. Yeah. And then out there is got the lake. The lake. Oh, well, it's good. Great, yeah. why don't we check out this living room? It's okay. pretty amazing on its own. Oh, wow. So we were in the family room. This is the actual living room. Living room. room. And you got the plaster ceiling with the wow. swans relief that was, again, restored to perfection by the present owner. This is remarkable. We've got yeah. the swans. There's a boy riding a swan. This, I guess yeah. it's out of mythology, mythology, but I don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then this enormous fireplace. fireplace. Brought you said in these... from Europe, especially for the house. Wow. And, uh, this is sort of a, this is a, a really terrific formal room, but what's nice is it sits out here between courtyard on that side and the terrace lake. Terrace like and, and the lake on the other wow. side, the east side. Yeah. Nice, and then we've yeah. got these two sort of uh, sitting areas off the sides of the room, and then back here we've got, what, a solarium? We've got the morning room, 
The morning room. The morning room. Oh, the carving here is mm -hmm. really beautiful. Tremendous. Oh, wow. So how many fireplaces are there? We have nine working fireplaces throughout the house. How, how many bedrooms? Uh, Eleven bedrooms. Plus you got guest quarters, you get uh, servants' quarters and stuff, but 11 main bedrooms. Oh, wow. Each Terrific. bedroom has its own fireplace and its own bathroom. Wow. Yeah. Let's go in and see the dining room. Okay. This would be the dining room? The dining room with the bevel mirrors. Oh, wow. There's a silver safe behind us. A s uh, really? I have to yeah. hide all my silver? To hide all oh, your terrific. silver. Oh, wow. And then... Uh, and I'm just trying to get a quick count. This is a big table. I can see two, four, six, so 12. This is a 14-person 14. table, and there's still an awful lot of room. There's space. Wow. Yeah. And we've got views out toward, toward the lake, into the toward landscaping, the lake. into the terrace. Opens up to the breakfast room. Which we're not going to go into. We're, not, we're trying we're to keep not. from going into every single room. Yeah. The kitchen is off in that direction, then? And the then? kitchen is on this side. And, wow. uh, Again, you see the moldings here. Every room has a different style of moldings that uh, throughout oh. uh, building the house, they were copying other architects and bringing in new designs. Oh, wow. So. so what's interesting is I know the ballroom is on the third floor, and I'm just picturing people arriving out in that courtyard, coming up these stairs, up two flights, I guess three flights to the ballroom. This is a really grand place to be. Well, they had, they had a choice. They could take the stairs or they take, could take the elevator ah. that would go down from the lower level to the uh, third level, to the dance room. It has a very, almost a regal sense to it. And I'm using that word because you've told me there are some royals who stayed here. Yes, the Duke and uh, Duchess of Windsor spent time here. And this is their room. We're going to go through it now. This would be after he gave up the crown for Wallace Simpson. He yes, was and he traveling this country. Traveling throughout the United States visiting friends. And, this and is, stayed in this room? This is their room. Yeah. So this room has some important history to mm -hmm. it. And so then this suite, I think several bedrooms have their own bathrooms or is this the only All the one? family bedrooms has their own bathrooms. Uh, fireplace, walk-in closets, They're like private suites, all of them. Oh, terrific. Mm -hmm. So we can't get into so every bedroom. It will take forever. But why right. don't we go to the master for a couple okay. of reasons. There are a few things I like there. So. so here again, we're at the center of that Y. We came up one wing. There's another wing going off that direction. And more, I think it's servant rooms originally off in this yeah, direction. Yeah, servant's right? quarters and the guest quarters together. So you got the barrel ceilings here. Right. And it's just like the beginning of the master suite here. <laughs> we got a child's room plus you get here. The sitting room, the master sitting room, and his oh, his wow. bathroom, his closet, and the master takes us to her bathroom. A very regal bathroom. Very regal. <laughs> you need a chandelier over your tub. And you get a view of the lake too. View of the lake, gold fixtures. That's quite a room. Now, one thing I like here is we're up above that living room. We've got greenery on three sides, three sides. and we're surrounded by the grounds of the mansion, mm -hmm. but we've got the great concrete frames of the windows, and as you mentioned, the leaded glass has been redone. Yes. We've got a view of the courtyard, got a fireplace. This is sort of the king of all master bedrooms. Exactly, yeah. And then it's got something that I've never seen in a master bedroom. We've got to check this out, this little breakfast we got this, porch. The breakfast porch, the sauna. It's your own little heaven here. Little, gets, who did the word little doesn't apply. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this room, uh, this is terrific. As big as this house is, as large, it's so comfortable and it's so easy to live here. This is a really intimate so, spot where I could have my breakfast, mm -hmm. look out over the Buffalo. courtyard. Now we're on the rear terrace. This is the one that looks toward the lake out toward, there. Uh, yes. And it's, a, it, it's another place to see the awesome details on this house. You were talking about the gutters, the beautiful the, the, old the scuffers the that big was boxes. restored. This terrace is where the uh, heir to the crown of Sweden danced. Uh, they had a party for him. It was 300 guests. Oh, wow. And they enjoyed an incredible evening here on the lake. Oh, I can imagine. So. Wow. There would be a lot of incredible evenings on mm -hmm. the lake when you're sitting on this terrace but with this remarkable house behind you and something just as imposing on the other side, the lake. Wow, that's exactly. just terrific.